You're looking at a very special image of the center of the Milky Way galaxy, a region crammed with dust, gas, and stars surrounding a black hole four million times heavier than our own sun. If you were standing outside on a very dark summer night, you'd see our own galaxy, the Milky Way, stretched overhead. The galaxy is actually shaped like a giant spiral, but because we're inside one of the arms of the spiral, we see it as a long stripe of stars. The area shown in the large image on our display would be a tiny speck in the southern sky in the constellation Sagittarius the Archer. In fact, to the naked eye, the spot would appear about the size of a pea held at arm's length. The large image is actually combined from three different images taken by three different orbiting telescopes. The Hubble Space Telescope, the Spitzer Space Telescope, and the Chandra X-ray Observatory. The images are then digitally layered on top of each other. Each one sees the sky in a different kind of light, kind of like using different colored filters over your eyes. In fact, in all three images, the light would actually be invisible to the naked eye. The first image is from the famous Hubble Space Telescope. It actually shows details as seen in near-infrared light, which is just slightly redder than we can see with the naked eye. However, even the Hubble has difficulty seeing anything more than dust clouds in the region, which block visible starlight from passing through. It's still magnificent, but it only hints at what's really going on there. The Spitzer Space Telescope sees the universe in a longer wavelength of infrared light, which is especially useful for seeing through the dust that's blocking our view in the first picture. Essentially, the image shows all the warm objects that are just on the other side of the dust and gas that hide the center of the galaxy from our view in normal and near-infrared light. Suddenly, we see objects that were previously hidden, such as the glow from a group of five stars called the quintuplet cluster, or the extremely bright glow of stars orbiting the region around the Milky Way's central black hole, also known as Sagittarius A. For reference, the center of the galaxy is just a little bit to the right of the center of the image. There are so many stars in the area around the black hole that it shows up very bright in infrared light. The Chandra X-ray Observatory is a special orbiting observatory that detects X-rays emitted by solar winds from individual stars, groups of stars, and excited gas left over from supernovas or the intensely hot material surrounding black holes. While the Milky Way's central black hole is itself very dim, the surrounding area appears very bright in this image. X-rays from the center are not from the stars themselves, but caused by the extremely hot gas from the debris of supernovas and so forth swirling around in the region, in addition to the outflow powered by the black hole. Each of these pictures gives us a different view of the area at the center of our galaxy. Scientists at NASA were able to combine them together to give an unprecedented view of this stunningly complex region. There are over 150 institutions across the country which received copies of this image from NASA to unveil to the public as part of its 2009 International Year of Astronomy program. The Arlington Heights Memorial Library is pleased to be among those. For more information about the Hubble Space Telescope, Spitzer Space Telescope, or Chandra X-ray Observatory, you can visit their websites. You can also get more information about the 2009 International Year of Astronomy at astronomy2009.org. If you're interested in astronomy, check out the resources at the Arlington Heights Memorial Library. We have books, DVDs, even online databases that can help you explore. You can also learn a lot from local astronomy clubs and organizations, which usually have meetings that are open to the public, as well as public observing nights when you can get a chance to look at objects in the sky through a telescope. 
Whether your interest is in distant galaxies or the planets of our own solar system, there's a group that shares your interests. 